Hey again, I am in the Costco parking lot. Well, on the bright side, I got my sunglasses adjusted. They fit much better now. And I spent my little gift certificate. I got mostly, all I got was paper products. I bought napkins, tissue, like tissues, Kleenex, toilet paper, and paper towels. And I spent $75, so total. So after the little gift certificate, all that only cost me $4 and some change, which was really nice. Got all kinds of stuff. So I went over to the AT&T kiosk thinking this would be a simple little thing. Like, hey, I haven't received my $100 Costco gift card. So the deal is when you get a new device, part of their deal with AT&T is you get the device and you get a $100 Costco gift card with each new device. Pretty good little deal. Well, I've got new devices for all three of us. One for me, one for my older son, one for my younger son. Well, here's the glitch though. Here's, here's the snag. My older son didn't want a new device right away. And then right after I signed, you know, made the deal and everything, he changed his mind and said, oh, actually I do want a new device. I said, well, it's too late now. We called them and they, and they confirmed it. Yeah, you, you're gonna have to take the SIM card and wait at least 60 days and then you can get a new device. So that's what we did anyway. So he's had his device now for th about three months, maybe a little bit longer. And I did confirm with them when I obtained the new device that yes, you will receive a $100 Costco gift card for this device as well. Well, that's lovely. Well, two months passed and I didn't receive anything. So there's a Costco AT&T VIP line that you can call why are you being goofy? Why are you way back here for no reason? You just gotta be special, I guess. So I called them and they said, well, you know, no, I called them after a month, that's what it was. They said, well, give it 60 days and then call us back. So they have a special dedicated line for Costco members at AT&T. It's called the, the Costco AT&T VIP line. Just for us special people, you know. Regular mortals are not allowed to call. They will not help you. Don't worry, they didn't help me either. Because then, so I called them again at two months and said, look, I still don't have it. And they put me off again. They said, well, give it a little bit longer. And if you don't have it, go back into the store and tell them you don't have it. I said, with all due respect, what is the point of this VIP line if y'all can't seem to do anything other than tell me to go back to the store? Can't you help me? Well, you have to go to the store for that, ma'am. It's a Costco deal, and they're the ones who are supposed to, you know, help you with that. I said, is this not the Costco AT&T VIP line? Yes, ma'am, it is. Why can't y'all help me? Am I not very important? I'm a very important person. I have this special phone number. They gave it to me when I made the deal. They said, if you have any problems at all, call this number, they'll help you. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't help you with this. What damn good are you then? like tits on a board. So anyway, I said, fine. Well, now it's been about three months. So I thought, well, while I'm in there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask them about it because they did tell me to go back to the store if I didn't receive it. So I go into the store. There's one young man working the little AT&T kiosk. He looked like Kurt Russell when he was young. He was a quite handsome man. He probably in his mid twenties. Looked a lot like Kurt Russell. It's shocking how much he looks like Kurt Russell. And very nice, very nice. But he told me, he said, look, I am, I'm new here. I'm still kind of, you know, learning my way around. Um, I can't really help you with that. I said, of course not. And he said, I don't really understand why they would tell you to come here anyway, because that is what the VIP line is for. I said, that's what I said. That's what I told him. Isn't that what the purpose of this line is to, you know, help Costco customers that have AT&T service? Isn't that the damn point? Well, we can't help you with that. So I told him, I said, they told me to come back here if I didn't receive it. Well, I'm here because I didn't receive it. He said, well, I'm new, I can't help you. He said, you know, you might wanna call them again. I said, okay, I'll try again. So I went back out to the car. Well, I, I did my shopping, got my stuff, took it out to the car. And then I called the AT&T Costco VIP line again. 
And the first person I talked to said, oh, you're calling the wrong number. Let me give you a, a number that will help you. Okay, great. And she just rattles off this 800 number. I didn't know what the number was. So I called it and it was the damn generic Costco customer service line and nobody there could help me. You have to go through this phone tree from hell and then finally you get a human on the phone and they go, ma'am, we can't help you with that. You need to talk to AT&T. I said, I talked to AT&T. They gave me your phone number. Well, I don't know why they did that. I said, I know, nobody knows why anybody did anything. Everybody is just completely confused. Everybody tells me to talk to somebody else. Well, we can't help you, ma'am. I'm sorry, you're gonna need to call AT&T. Call that VIP number, I bet they can help you. I said, that's who I've been talking to. Oh, well, call them again. Okay, thank you, up yours, bye. So I called the AT&T VIP Costco line again. I get another person on the phone. I explain the whole situation again. He again told me to, I said, I'm sitting in the Costco parking lot right now. And again, he told me, I can't help you with Costco. You have to go back to Costco. I said, I'm sitting in their parking lot right now. He said, oh, well then just go back in the store and tell them your problem. I said, I just came from telling them my problem. We'll go back in there and tell them again. I feel like a damn ping pong ball. So I go back in, Kurt Russell's in there again, bless his heart. He, he wanted to help me. <laughs> so I said, look, I have called him again. They again told me to come in here and talk to you. And he again goes, well, I don't know why they told you that. I said, I know, I know, I don't either. I don't know, but they seem to think you have the answer. He said, well, ma'am, I'm new here. I said, I know you're new here. I know you're new here. Honey, I'm not worried about you. Oh, this, this older guy is trying to hurry up and put his groceries up. You're fine, I don't need your spot. That's not a spot, that's a cart corral, damn it. So he was so nice, but he said, um, you know, there's my manager. I'm going to give my manager a call and see what he says. And then he got off the phone with the manager and he said, actually, the manager is on his way here. If you can just hang out, he'll be here in about 10 minutes. I said, I, I don't want to hang out anymore. I'm really just ready to go. You know, I got stuff to do. I'm hungry. Why can't I find a spot? Why is everybody here? I gotta go in there and get something at Walmart. So he said, well, if you'll just hang around, I think he'll be here in 10 minutes, 20 minutes tops. And I said, I, I really don't feel like doing this. Can I just leave you my name and number and can, can he just call me? Can your manager just call to get this? You know what he told me? This is the dumbest shit I've ever heard of. Okay, so just for future reference, if you go try to use the AT&T kiosk at Costco, their policy is, if no one at the kiosk can help you, you cannot leave your name and number because they are not allowed to call you back. They are not allowed to call you. The hell if I know why. Like, I'm giving you my permission. Do I need to sign a slip? I don't care. Can you just have the person call me? I'm sorry, ma'am, we're not allowed to call anyone. You're just gonna have to come back again unless you wanna wait. I said, I don't wanna wait anymore. I just, I wanna get out of here. This has just been so irritating. I just wanna go. I probably should have waited, but my instinct said, don't bother. He's not gonna be here. He won't be here in 10 minutes. He, I just, I don't know why. I just knew, like I just somehow, I just know it'll take him at least a half hour to get here. Don't wait, just go. He said, well, you're gonna have to come back again then. I said, why can, I understand you're new. I understand that. And he was very nice, very apologetic. He said, I'm, I'm really sorry. I said, it's okay. But can you tell me why it is that nobody can do anything? This is not, this is not a complicated issue. I don't think it shouldn't be. Why is it that y'all can so easily make this deal for your customers and you say you offer it to everybody. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you offer it to everybody. You can make it no problem. Fill out the paperwork, we're done. But if anybody has a problem, no, literally no one can help me. No one, even the line that was set up just for 
people who got phones from them from from them through Costco even they can't help me they, they, they can't help me why is that it's a miracle I've never seen Wow he said ma'am I really don't know I, I am very sorry I said I know everybody's sorry everybody's sorry it's okay I'm not mad I'm just frustrated and it's another example of what I was saying the other day have you am I the only one dealing with stuff like this where it seems like everything is just kind of breaking down because I swear not even 10 years ago I don't remember being this chronically frustrated with this many different completely unrelated companies no one can help you they pass you around like a prize bass like you just nope they just send you here go talk to this person go talk to that person call this number call that number don't worry they can't help you either I don't remember ever being this irritated all the time by the companies I have to deal with just to live my life I'm not asking for anything special it's not a yacht that I ordered and the shade of white on the side is not appealing to me no I just want my damn gift card that you promised me when I signed up this when I signed this contract with you people that's all I want you hand them out like Tic Tacs to everybody that gets a phone from you well I didn't get one of my Tic Tacs and I just want to know where the hell it is and when I can expect to receive it and no one can tell me no nobody knows they don't know they don't have the capacity to figure it out they don't know how to find out they're not gonna find out. They're going to just pass me along to somebody else. Oh, can I talk to your manager then? Can you have them call me? No. <laughs> just, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> but I did convince him. I said, look, can you, can you at least tell whoever this person is, can you at least tell them about the issue? I guess I'm just going to have to come back here. I'm not going back today. I'll go back tomorrow or something can you just tell them he said well I mean he was really kind of cagey about it like I said can you just write it down somewhere do you want me to write it down I'll write it down if you have like a scrap of paper I don't have any paper with me but if you I'll write it down no 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 um I, okay uh I'll write it down I'll just um let, it's like he was it was stressing him out like um and I know he's new so but is this such a foreign concept a customer has a question you can't answer it but somebody else can you could make a note about it is that that weird I didn't think it was so he pulls out a piece of paper he said okay um I'll be right down the problem so he wrote it hasn't received gift card been three months since activation all right good so he said I started to give him my number he said oh ma'am I can't take your phone number I said it's an AT&T number you can write it down. I won't tell anybody. Ma'am, I can't write your number down. I can't, I can't write it down. You can't even write my number down. I'm just asking you. Damn, you can't even write. No, ma'am. All I can write down is your name and the problem. I'm guessing, and I don't know. Maybe this has something to do with they're not allowed to do telemarketing or something. And if they get caught doing it, they get in trouble. It has to be something because it seemed like it was really stressing this guy out to even think of writing down a number and calling having anybody call it was apparently that must be some kind of big no-no for some reason so he said oh um I, oh okay i'll write down the problem so he wrote down the problem you want my number no he's like no i don't want your phone number i can't write that down i can't i can't give the manager that okay calm down there kurt russell it's all right um okay so it was tripping me out how much he looked like a young Kurt Russell. Like, damn, I wonder if anybody's ever told him that. You look a lot like Kurt Russell when he was like 25. It's crazy. Anyway, so he said, well, let me write down your name. Bless his heart, that young man. He misspelled Mary. <laughs> he misspelled it. And when I told him how it was spelled, he looked surprised. <laughs> and he said, I've never heard it spelled that way. <laughs> what? He, 
he wrote down, he goes, that's M-A-R-R-Y, right? I said, no, M-A-R-Y. He goes, oh, I've never heard it spelled that way before. <laughs> like even Jesus' mama, you never saw that? Mary Tyler Moore? <laughs> Holy shit. So then he asked me for my last name, and I told him. And literally two seconds later, he goes to write down a totally different last name. <laughs> And he's trying to spell it out. He thought my last name was Thomas. So he's going, is that T-H-O-M-A-S? I said, no, that is not my last name that I literally just told you. And then he misspelled that right after I spelled it for him. Oh my God. Bless his heart. I had him so flustered. He was all just beside himself. <laughs> I swear, I about want to go in and give him the hundred dollar gift card when I'm done for all the trouble. <laughs> like, man, you earned it. I swear, I, I probably, could, I have increased his risk of a stroke today. So yes. I have had my name misspelled before, but it's been a while. I have had several people in my lifetime misspell Mary. So even if you give your kid a pretty straightforward name, there's no guarantee that people won't get it wrong. So anyway, I didn't get anywhere. I got nowhere. I called the VIP line, what, twice, got nowhere. Went in the store twice, got nowhere. Couldn't leave a number for the for the one person who might be able to help me to call me. No, I have to go back to Costco. Back to freaking Costco. I don't like going to Costco. <laughs> ah. So, I just had to take a minute and tell you that. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. It won't do. It won't do, I swanny. It won't do. Ah, so maybe, maybe if I can get up there tomorrow, I don't know if I can. I'll try. If I can get up there tomorrow, maybe young Kurt Russell won't be there. And he, well, he said he was, he might be there. Like, is your career in jeopardy? Or So he said, well, the manager will be here this afternoon and he will be here tomorrow so I said what time should I come tomorrow is there is there any particular time that would be better so then he gives me no shit a two-minute explanation of the operating hours of Costco like if you just met someone and they fell from outer space and they didn't know how business hours worked it was like that like well in Costco the store technically opens at 10 a.m. We are here at 9.30. Unfortunately, it does not help customers because the store does not open until 10 a.m. And then the store is open for a duration of time until 8 p.m. The AT&T kiosk is in a operation during the hours between 10 a.m. and 8 p.m. Like, dude, I wasn't asking you that. I know that. I was just and I, I just said, thank you very much. Thank you for your help. I, I, I'll try to come tomorrow. Have a nice day. I just left. Like, I can't take any more of this bizarre situation. I, I have to get out of here. I was starting to feel like the, the walls were closing in. And Costco was a big damn place to feel claustrophobic in. Like, I gotta go. I, I got to get out of here. I cannot handle the fuckery that is modern life anymore. I just, I can't take it. I long for the days when you could just go to a store and say, hey, person, I have a problem. They don't direct me to a website. They don't direct me to a customer service line, a, a number. No, they go, oh, you have a problem. Let me help you with said problem. And they actually do. They actually freaking do. No, instead I get a monologue about the operating hours of a store. And I get my name misspelled. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hoochie mama. All right. I give up. 
I give up. I'm going to go into Walmart now where at least I don't have the illusion of hope that anyone in there will help me with anything because I know damn well they won't. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to help me with shit. You are on your own in Walmart. You are like the straggler left behind for the zombies to eat. That's what you are in Walmart. Ain't nobody coming to your, to your aid in this store. I mean, at least I know that. I know that. I have no expectation of anything more than that. I got to go in there and get some recycle bags, like the clear recycle trash bags. Yeah. I'm going to go get some of those, and then I'm going to go home and check my email and see if I have any work to do. But that's my AT&T Costco story. I don't feel like a very important person anymore. I'm starting to think I'm just a regular person. Being jerked around like every other little peon out there. So anyway, <laughs> happy Monday. I hope things are going better for you than they are me. I hope you have a good day. I'll see you again soon.